home automation using ESP device, please watch the video until the end. This is concept of home automation using ESP device, and MQTT is protocol communication. In this example, we use three labs, and one fan as controlled device, so we will control these devices from the dashboard remotely. And also, we use sensor of temperature and humidity DHT11, this sensor will measure temperature, and humidity, and we will show the result on the dashboard. We use ESP8266 as IoT device, the sensor, and all devices connect to GPIO of ESP. ESP device connected to a MQTT broker, the result from sensor will be published to the MQTT broker, and ESP device will receive command as subscriber to control devices. We use Node Red as monitoring dashboard, we will show temperature and humidity data on dashboard, also we can control device from the dashboard. We can open the dashboard from laptop browser, or smartphone browser. Step-by-step -step implementation. 1. Create or sign up a MQTT broker. 2. Set up node red, install required nodes, and then import JSON flows file. 3. Set up ESP device, wiring the device, edit code, and upload the code. 4. Trial the implementation, make sure all is running well. You can download all required files, find the link at video description. Step 1. Create MQTT Broker or sign up MQTT Broker. You can create your own MQTT Broker, install MQTT Broker on your VPS, or, you can sign up a public MQTT Broker, you can find it on Google. In Step 2. Set up Node Red. After installing Node Red, please install required nodes. Then, import JSON file, and then, set up MQTT node configuration. The following is a display of the Node Red dashboard. The dashboard can be opened via laptop or smartphone. There is gauge and line chart to show temperature and humidity data, and switch to control devices, and also there is SVG graphic to show visualization of devices status. In Step 3, 
set up PSP device, install required libraries for DHT11, JSON formatting, and MQTT connection. Open Arduino IDE application, edit code, set up your Wi-Fi connection, and set up IP address of your MQTT broker, then upload code to ESP device. Then, set up wiring for devices, in simulation, we use small LED lamps, in actual implementation, you can use relays and 220 volt lamps. This is wiring for simulation, we use 3 LED lamps and small fan, and DHD11 sensor. Because the fan needs 5 volt, we use a relay, and external source to supply voltage to fan. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, see you on the next video.